is Wayne Routledge, getting his first Spurs start for two years today. And straight away he wins a free kick. It's a strange challenge from McEverley, just seemed to lose his balance there as he went to tackle. So Genus, is he going to give this a crack? Now he plays it the other side, Mal Bronk. He scored for Tottenham Hotspur, exactly what White Hart Lane wanted. It's the 50th goal in English football for Steve Malbronk. Nobody picking up Malbronk at all. He's got time to take a touch, set himself, and drill that low inside the left-hand post. Fine strike, but desperately poor marking from Derby. That's better. That's what he wanted. It's Huddleston who's been brought into the midfield today, maybe to add a bit more creativity. Good ball in from Chimbonda to Bent. Tottenham looking dangerous, now broke again, and it's 2-0! Can you believe this start for Spurs? They're not tottering anymore. The ball slid in here, he's got time to turn, played a cross goal, and again you've got to say, Malbronk's first touch is excellent, much as it was for the first goal. The first touch kills the ball, and the second one is terrific. Is this the start of normal service being resumed? for Tottenham. Pearson couldn't get hold of it, Genus could, driving run, look at this, Jermaine Genus! That is a fantastic solo goal from Jermaine Genus and Tottenham Hotspur have thrown it up in 13 minutes. That's a terrific goal from Genus. Not much that they could do about it. Once he got goal side of Stephen Pearson, Genus does credit, stayed up, Knew there was a chance of getting a shot away. And Stephen Bywater can do nothing about that. Takes the paint off of the inside of his right-hand post. It's a shell shocker for Derby. <laughs> Bent with a little layoff. Goes again, he's got him behind here. Darren Bent, players arriving in the middle, he's found King! Rowley just to score! but the flag is up, offside, it's not four. <laughs> Routledge to Keane, now Bent, Keane, it's another wonderful Spurs move. They are really turning on the style. Well, Keane was in in the front end of this move, and again, it's because they don't go tight on him. And eventually, when he gets it back, he's trying to bend it in the inside the near post, and unless Derby get tight and make more challenges just in front of their 18-yard box, they're going to lose more here. Cut out. Challenged by Fagan from behind. Is the referee going to book him? I think he is for that, you know. I think Craig Fagan maybe just had enough of the, the showboating from the youngster. Never close enough to the ball there to take much of it. Huddleston played deep. Chimponda was in there. McEverly as well. This could be in there. Back to throw. Did he get the last touch? It's 4-0. OK, deep. the starting position is a penalty spot. And when Chimbonda wins that, he's inside the six-yard box. Awkward one for Bywater, trying to get it behind, hits it off the crossbar. And there wasn't much that Lee Cock could do in the goal line to keep it out. Chimponda did well to, to play with the back post against McEverley. I wouldn't blame Bywater too much for that.